NCAA tournament. Again, join our bracket challenge newsletter with link and password going out tonight. Be sure to sign up. The link is in the bio. The link is in our bio. Hit that link. Go to our website. Sign up for the newsletter and get ready to play the bracket challenge against Butt Fumble Sports. And of course, before we go to our Sweet 16 picks, make sure you're following us. Hit that follow button for all of those watching on TikTok. Don't worry, Kid Racer. We're going to go to every pick in the Sweet 16 round right now. So in case you have questions about how to complete the final few rounds of the NCAA tournament, no need to worry. We're going to break down every game of the Sweet 16 according to the bracket we've just built through the first two rounds. In the Sweet 16, let's start in the South region where we have number one Alabama playing one of our it actually is our highest seed remaining in the tournament. Number 12, Charleston. I have number 12, Charleston, pulling off two upsets against San Diego State and Virginia, finding their way to the Sweet 16. I have them being the Cinderella's of this tournament, but I don't have this game being that competitive. I think they're the darlings of the first weekend. I think they get blown out to start the second weekend. I have Alabama number one, winning and advancing to the Elite Eight. Easy pick for me. I think Nate Oates... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not happy with how he's handled things off the court, but he has the best team in the country right now, and I don't think he's going to have any problem with the Carl, College of Charleston in the Sweet 16. Roll Tide, I have Alabama in the Elite Eight. The other game in the South bracket, in the South region for the Sweet 16 is number three Baylor against number two Arizona. Arizona, to me, offensively is superior. Baylor being a good offensive team, the fact that they're not as good as Arizona should be concerning. Arizona's better defensively, better offensively. They're more balanced as a complete roster. I like Arizona to win and to advance. That would set up a very chalky 1-2 matchup in the Elite Eight between number one Alabama and number two Arizona. Don't hate the chalk. It's just how it's going to go. I think Baylor loses to Arizona setting up that 1-2 matchup between Bama and Arizona. That answers the Sweet 16 matchups uh, of the South region. Let's shift over to the Midwest region. In the first game in the Midwest region of the Sweet 16, we have number one Houston playing number four Indiana. The fact this game comes on the second weekend, I think helps Houston even that much more. I think Sasser will definitely be healthy by then if he's playing at all. So for that reason, I like Houston to advance. I don't see Indiana pulling off the upset. Mike Woodson has done a good job with his Hoosiers this year. I think he gets them to the Sweet 16, but the Hoosiers run ends there. I have Houston and Kelvin Sampson winning that game and punching their ticket to the Elite Eight. Houston waits for the winner of number three Xavier against number two Texas. I think this is going to be one of the best games of the elite uh, of the Sweet 16, rather. But I think ultimately the Longhorns prevail. They have the more complete roster. Xavier's a really good offense. These two teams come from two competitive conferences. Again, I think it's a great game. I think whoever the underdog is probably covers. But that said, I like Texas to advance to set up, again, a very chalky 1-2 matchup between number one Houston and number two Texas, two of the best teams in the country and certainly two teams that should be considered favorites or among the favorites for a national championship contention. Houston right now is the favorite overall to win the national championship at plus 500. Texas at plus 1500 is about the seventh or eighth favorite to win the, the overall championship. Continuing to build our bracket, we continue to shift down now to the West region as we break down the games in the Sweet 16 for the West region. The first game is number one Kansas against number four UConn. Everyone I know is going with UConn right now, which surprises me. I thought Kansas was the best team throughout the season. They were challenged the most when it came to strength of schedule. They had the hardest strength of schedule in the country. I think UConn's good. I think Kansas is better. I also like that Kansas has the best player in this game in Jalen Wilson. I'm going to go with Kansas again. A week removed from uh, Bill Self's uh, hospital release, I think it's good for the Jayhawks as well. Give him some more time to settle back into coaching. I like Kansas to advance, beating UConn in what will be a very competitive game. Kansas plays the winner of number three Gonzaga against number seven Northwestern. This pits a great offense against a great defense. I think offense ultimately wins out. 
I think Drew Timmy will win this game uh, and, and put, punch the Gonzaga Bulldogs ticket to the Elite Eight. I think Northwestern's a really good team, but I think Gonzaga's experience really plays a factor. I think also Gonzaga, knowing how to score. When they get down, they know how to go inside to Drew Timmy and find ways to get points. I think Northwestern at times, if you take away some of their best options, they start to struggle. If Boo Booey doesn't have a great game, where are they going to get their points from? I like Gonzaga to win to set up a great matchup against number one Kansas and number three Gonzaga. Finally, our last picks for the Sweet 16 come out of the East region. Number one Purdue facing number five Duke. Uh, Filipowski going up against Zach Eady. It's the matchup everyone should want. A battle of big men. A lot of people are high on Duke. A lot of people like Duke for how they finished the year, beating UNC, winning the ACC tournament. I'm going in the other direction. I think Purdue, I think they're, Purdue's going to be challenged by FAU in that second round matchup in the round of 32, but I think they're going to be well prepared for Duke. I actually think where you're going to see the biggest difference or advantage for Purdue is Matt Painter against John Shire. Matt Painter is one of the best coaches right now in the country. He's experienced. He has a seasoned team. They know how to win. I think John Shire is going to consider his round to the Sweet 16 a success, but I don't see him getting to the Elite Eight. I have Purdue winning and advancing to the Elite Eight, continuing to keep their national championship hopes alive. Purdue would play the winner of Kansas State and Marquette, which I think could be one of my favorite games of the entire tournament. This one's really tough for me. A lot of you guys out there have mentioned how you have Marquette making it to your Final Four. I had Marquette advancing yesterday when I first looked at the bracket, but in reviewing stats and looking through everything, I'm going to go with Kansas State. I'm going to go with the 3-2 upset. I'm going to say Kansas State beats Marquette. I like the guard play of Kansas State a little bit more. Keontae Johnson, Marquise Noel. I like Kansas State to win and advance to play Purdue in the uh, Elite Eight that would set up a 1-3 matchup. So again, the teams I have in my Elite Eight going around all eight teams, number one, Alabama against number two, Arizona in the South, number one, Houston against number two, Texas in the Midwest, number one, Kansas against number three, Gonzaga in the West, and number one, Purdue against number three, Kansas State in the East. Those are all of my picks for the Sweet 16. We're down to the Elite Eight. If you want to get all of my picks from all the rounds, make sure you're going to our YouTube channel, Butt Fumble Sports. Subscribe, check out our content, look at our videos. We'll be putting out picks, gambling advice throughout the week. That way you build a perfect bracket and cash your tickets. Now let's break down these Elite Eight games. Only four games remaining featuring these eight teams. We start in the East region. Or sorry, we start in the South. Number one, Alabama against number two, Arizona. I really like Arizona. I like Alabama more. Alabama has the better player. Alabama has the better team. I have Alabama advancing and being the first team in my bracket to make it to the final four. Roll Tide, Alabama, the number one overall seed entering the tournament. I have them winning. I like Arizona a lot, but I think Brandon Miller and Alabama just do enough and win by just a point or two. I think it's a very close game, literally two three-point difference, but I have Alabama ad, uh, winning and advancing to the Final Four. In the Midwest region, I have number one Houston playing number two Texas. Finally, I have Houston's run coming to an end. I like Texas. I think Texas is going to win this game. Houston, according to Ken Palm, is the best team in the country, but I have Texas pulling off the upset here. I don't think Houston's been challenged throughout the year. Their strength of schedule isn't as strong as Texas. I think Texas here proves they're the superior team. I like Texas to pull off the upset and deny Kelvin Sampson at the opportunity to win a national championship. I have Texas advancing into the Final Four. Keep in mind, number one seeds are 37 and 30 against number two seeds all time. We have a couple of those matchups. I have the number one uh, seed winning in the South. I have the number two seed winning in the West. The next game we're going to break down comes out of the West. Number one, Kansas against number three, Gonzaga. 
Kansas is the most tested team in the country. Gonzaga is the best offense in the country. I think Drew Timmy's college basketball career ultimately comes to an end in this game. I like Kansas to advance to beat Gonzaga, setting up another matchup with Texas. I like Kansas to advance against Gonzaga. Bill Self, the reigning national championship Jayhawks, advancing into the Final Four to play number two Kansas in the Final Four. But I have Kansas advancing. And the last game of the Elite Eight to determine who goes to the Final Four is between number one Purdue and number three Kansas State. As much as I like uh, Kansas State, I think their their Cinderella run at, as a number three, I guess, it shouldn't be a Cinderella run, but their Final Four pursuit finally comes to an end. I have Purdue making a Final Four. Matt Painter and the Purdue Boilermakers finally make a Final Four and punch their ticket to face Number one, Alabama. It would set up a one versus one matchup between Alabama and Purdue. While on the other side, I have number two, Texas, facing number one, Kansas. Those are my picks for the Elite Eight. Make sure you're following us on TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube, But Fumble Sports. We put out content every day. College basketball picks. Who are we picking for the bracket? We'll also be putting out some player prop bets. So make sure you're following us, But Fumble Sports, on TikTok. Instagram, and on YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter at Sports Fumble. We've gone through the entire bracket of the NCAA tournament. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see the bracket right on your screen with all of our picks. We're down to just two games remaining in the Final Four and then a national championship game. So let's get to it. Who do I have winning in the Final Four? In our first game, we have number one Alabama against number one Purdue. We have Brandon Miller, arguably the best player in the country, according to NBA scouts, against Zach Eady, who will probably be national player of the year. I like Alabama to win this game. I think Alabama pulls off the win against Purdue. I think Purdue's shooting goes a little bit cold. I think Alabama has the offense to score from the perimeter. I think Zach Eady doesn't play as big a factor in this game. I like Alabama to win and advance to the national championship game. Who will Alabama play? Well, in the other side of the Final Four, I have number two Texas playing number one Kansas. And in their last two meetings, Texas won both in the regular season finale as well as in the Big 12 uh, tournament uh, championship game. And I think Texas is going to make it three in a row. I think Texas has Kansas's number. I know the uh, Kansas Jayhawks have some good players in Jalen Wilson and Grady Dick. But I think Texas is going to win this game, setting up a matchup between number one Alabama and number two Texas in the national championship as much as I hate to say it, I think Brandon Miller, Nate Oates, I think the Alabama Crimson Tide are the best team in the country. They were the number one overall seed entering the tournament. No matter what's going on with that, that program away from the basketball court, when it comes to on the basketball court, I think the Alabama Crimson Tide are the best team in the country right now. And that is why I'm going to have Alabama as my national championship pick. I have Alabama winning the national championship and let's go with a score of 73 to 68 will be my final score. So again, my final score for the national championship is Alabama beats Texas 73-68 to give Alabama the national championship in college basketball. We're not talking football. We're not talking Nick Saban. But I have Alabama winning the national championship in the bracket that I just built. If you want to review any of the picks that we've just gone through, make sure you go to our website, buttfumblesports.com, and go to our, our social media channels, Buttfumble Sports on TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube. Make sure you're following and make sure you're subscribing. That way you never miss an opportunity to watch our content, engage with us, get advice. We're here to answer all of your questions to help you build the perfect bracket now that we've gone through every pick of the NCAA tournament. I hope that information was helpful, not just in building your bracket, but hopefully cashing some tickets along the way. Don't forget, join our Bracket Challenge newsletter with a link and a password going out tonight. It will be in your inbox tomorrow. Be sure to sign up. Link is in our bio. Hit that link in our bio. Sign up for that newsletter, and that way you can play against us in our bracket challenge.
We just threw, went through every game of the NCAA tournament, answering all of your questions now. If you have questions about any game, we're here to answer it. It can be the round of 64 all the way to the national championship. So if you have questions out there, make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe, and throw your questions in the chat. We're here to answer all of your questions. Let's put out a poll. I just said that the Alabama Crimson Tide is going to win the national championship. Let's do a quick poll for those who are watching. Smiley face if you agree with me. Crying face if you disagree with my pick. Will the Alabama Crimson Tide win the national championship? Smiley face if you say yes. Crying face if you say no. Do you agree or disagree with my pick for who's going to win the national championship? I'm saying Alabama. Smiley face if you say yes. You agree with my national championship pick or crying face if you disagree, do you have another team? So this would be yes if you have Alabama, crying face if you have the field. Doing a quick poll, do you agree or disagree with my national championship pick? I have Alabama winning the national championship. Smiley face for yes, crying face for no. Do you think that Alabama will win the national championship? If you have another team, throw your national championship team in the chat. Would love to engage with you guys and uh, hear who you have winning the national championship. Who do you have finishing in your bracket as the number one team overall? Appreciate all of you guys watching and following. Did you have Duke playing against Marquette? I don't. I have Duke playing against Purdue in the Sweet 16 and then losing to Purdue in that game. I have Marquette losing to Kansas State, so neither team makes it to the Elite Eight. Kid Racer has Texas over, for, over Purdue for the national champion. Mike is with me. You have Alabama. I have Alabama on the national championship pick. My final four teams are Alabama, Purdue, Texas, and Kansas. And the, and the Cinderella I have going the farthest is I have number 12 Charleston making it to the Sweet 16 before they lose to eventual champion Alabama. If you have questions about how to fill out your bracket, throw them in the chat. We're here to answer all of your questions. Make sure you're following Butt Fumble Sports on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. That way you know every time we go live, we're going to be live on TikTok Live and YouTube throughout the week, helping you build the perfect bracket and bet not just before games, but also in games. We will be going live during the NCAA tournament. So if you want to get some in-game betting advice, something we do really well is in-game betting. So if you want to get some in-game betting advice, make sure you're hitting that follow button. That way you know every time we go live, but Fumble Sports will be giving out in-game betting advice on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So make sure you're following us. That way you never miss an opportunity to ask, our quest ask us questions and get some information. Appreciate all of you guys joining us. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. It's going out tomorrow morning. Join us for our free newsletter or sign up rather for our free newsletter. It goes out tomorrow morning. It will have information that allows you to compete against us in our bracket challenge. The password and link to that bracket challenge is in the newsletter. So if you want to compete against us, make sure you hit that link in our bio, hit the link in our bio, sign up for that free newsletter and compete against us in our bracket challenge. We appreciate all of you guys watching us. We just went live for an hour and a half. All of our picks in the entire round of the, in the entire NCAA tournament, all 68 teams whittled down to just one and an eventual national champion. If you want to check out all of our picks, go to our YouTube channel, Butt Fumble Sports. Check out all of our picks as well as our videos. We'll be putting out gambling videos throughout the week to help you make some money. We appreciate all of you guys watching and making some time to get entertainment from Butt Fumble Sports. Make sure you reach out to us and engage. We'll be here throughout the week to answer all of your NCAA March Madness questions. Until then, thanks for